Hey everybody, this is Chris from Chromonaut. I literally just finished the sound work for episode 1 of the Arkan Chronicles a few hours ago, and we just came back from a great premiere here on YouTube. I quickly wanted to show you a little bit of the whole sound design work in this episode, Footsteps. To save me hours of work, I created my own little private footstep machine. And this is how it looks and sounds like. So I'm here in Logic and now let's build that machine together. First of all I'm going to need raw materials. So I'm going to look for footsteps in my sound library. Here are some footsteps in shallow puddles. And here's some walking on dirt road. Nice, we're going to take this. Let's go back to Logic and fire up Native Instruments battery to help me out. Basically battery is a drum sampler. But it's really up to you what samples you load into it. Each of these cells can hold one sample. So let's go back to Audio Finder and just drag and drop the whole Dirt Road recording I did into this first cell. Okay, let me just quickly adjust the end point here. Now, as soon as I click on this cell, it basically just plays the whole recording. So this isn't exactly what we want. I want to isolate a single footstep so I can trigger different footsteps by clicking on different cells. So this is what I do. I zoom in so I can adjust the start and the end points of this cell more precisely. And then I'm going to drag the end point so it stops after the first step sound. Let's zoom in some more and adjust the start point a little more. Good. Let's quickly listen to this. Okay. Now let's copy this cell to the next one and adjust this next cell's start and end points to trigger the second step sound of this recording. Let's listen. Okay, let's just repeat that for the third one. And now let's listen to the three by alternating between them. Nah, sounds a lot better than just having one. There's still this problem though that triggering one sample still sounds pretty much like a machine gun. The solution to this is to randomize the trigger parameters so with each trigger the volume and pitch of each sound are changed a little bit. This can be done in the modulation section. So let's select all the cells so we can batch process them and let's look at the modulation section of battery. I'm going to use these two LFOs on the left to help me with the randomization. And on the right I have the parameter destinations. This means the parameters the LFOs will be modulating. So let's add LFO1 and let this LFO modulate the volume of a sample. About 50 plus minus is usually okay. Now let's add the second LFO and point it so it modulates the pitch or tune of the sample. I usually get OK results between 0 and 5 halftones. When we look on the left, the LFOs still produce a regular sine wave at the moment, so let's have them put out a random value. OK, let's hear what we achieved so far. Triggering the cell modulates volume and pitch now, and one sample doesn't sound as repetitive anymore. Let's hear all three. Okay, that's the basic principle of the footstep machine, or footstep instrument. I can now play footsteps on my keyboard like an instrument. Now let's load up the file I used in Arkham Chronicles episode 1. It's still quite basic due to the time constraints we had in production, but it already helped me save hours of work. On top I have footsteps on a wooden surface, then here for shallow puddles, Two different kinds of dirt road recordings, the upper one more sandy in nature, the lower one more solid. What really works well is when you trigger two samples at a time to give the sound even more variation, like so. Now all I need to do is to hit record and play the keyboard. Everything was recorded nicely and I can play it back or move the steps easily from place to place.
Let's take a peek of how this looked with the full project loaded and the footsteps soloed. And the final mix with all sounds. Footsteps only. And the final mix. Sorry about that, Master Kale. The villagers have been worried as of late with these rumors of monsters in the fort. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this little peek behind the scenes of Arkham Chronicles. And all that's left for me to say now is... Keep your ears open and your nose sharp.